today we're talking about how much fat do you need? How much fat do you need? All right. This, this topic does not need to get confusing. It really doesn't. Okay. When you follow the master diabetes method, the recipes in this book, okay, you're going to approximately end up with about 10% of your calories coming from dietary fat. Okay. And that is more than enough, whether, for, whether it's hormonal health, uh, men and women, whether it's brain health, it's more than enough. It's, it's conservative. Now, when it comes to your essential fatty acids, we include an insurance policy, okay, which is a little bit of ground chia seed and ground flax seed, all right? So we, we put it in our recipes. I'm just going to let me read you a recipe or two here, all right? So in our breakfast recipes, we have you including this. And the, just by having the ground chia seeds and ground flax seeds, all right, one tablespoon freshly ground chia seeds. That's the refreshing fruit delight, okay? One tablespoon literally already meets your essential fatty acid requirements for for um, ALA. You get that ALA, it then converts to EPA and DHA when you're following the method. If you have concerns about whether or not you are doing the conversion properly, then you should get a test, okay? It's going to be called omega quant, omega quant, all right? Here we go. We're going to go to this website and uh let's see if we're gonna go here i'm gonna share my screen so if you have and when in doubt getting a test and having that test analyzed by an expert is a great way to go what is the omega-3 index okay boom that's the test you're gonna want to get all right you're gonna get the omega-3 index and this is gonna help you see um if your body is doing a good job of converting ALA to EPA and DHA, those really long chain essential, uh, not shouldn't say essential, but really important uh, fatty acids, okay, that you, you need. So you'd go to the shop, you would go to, you can, you can get one of these, either one of these three, okay? I, I would say you could probably just go with the basic one, right? That's a $50 investment. It's absolutely worth it. Absolutely. We wrote about this test in our book. Highly recommend it. So just know the, the bottom line is you, all you have to, when you walk away from this show, all you have to remember is that uh, our recipes, our plan, our system, the Master Diabetes Method has a built-in insurance policy to make sure you get enough. Now, you are also getting more fatty acids, more alpha linoleic acid from the whole foods that you're consuming. All whole foods contain essential fatty acids, bananas, lettuce, beans, rice, potatoes, all of them include, okay, essential fatty acids. And they all include fat just in general, right? All whole foods contain fat. How many grams of fat do we need each day? Okay. Let me see if I can pull that up here. Hold on. Uh, I want to read this whole section. What you need is you need the essential fatty acids, your body then does the conversion into the other, um, the other longer chain fatty acids that you need. Okay. All right. So we're going to go 172 to 176. Here we go. Okay. So I'm not going to read this whole section because it's too long, but I'm going to show you this graphic and I'm going to suggest you guys pick up a copy of the book. Okay. This graphic is showing the most important thing that y'all can learn today, which is you want to optimize your conversion, okay? You, you want to optimize your conversion of the essential fatty acids that you're going to get in your chia seeds or your flax seeds. And that's what this whole image is about. That's what this section of the book is about. And the long story short, you know, um, TLDR, too long, didn't read. Y'all ever get that in one of your emails or Slack messages or something, TLDR? The short is, 
when you have too many omega-6 fats from processed foods, from unnecessary oils, it inhibits your body's ability to do the conversion of your omega-3s because you have the same um, delta-6 desaturase enzyme, the same enzyme responsible for doing the conversions on both sides. And when you are eating too many omega-6s, your body will focus on those and won't have enough of the enzyme left to take care of the omega-3s, all right? So that's the importance. So the bottom line is, let's go read this little section here. So uh, here it is. Um, it's very important to eat sufficient ALA in order to make sufficient quantities of EPA and DHA. The good news is that this is very easy to do when following the mastering diabetes method because all whole foods have small amounts of ALA. Men should eat, listen up guys, this is where you take your, your pen and paper and you write this down and you put it on your fridge and you stop getting concerned about the amount of fat that you're consuming, okay? Uh, here it is. Men should eat 1.6 grams of ALA per day and women should eat 1.1 grams of ALA per day. To be extra safe, we provide you with an EFA insurance policy. Eat one tablespoon of fresh, freshly ground flax seeds containing 1.6 grams ALA or one tablespoon of freshly ground chia seeds containing 2.5 grams ALA per day to ensure that you have met your omega-3 daily requirement. There's really no, there's no need to be concerned here. Um, we are really, really adamant about being objective with your health, getting the right tests, working with appropriate health professionals to make educated decisions. Um, don't, this idea of just like oh, reading on the internet, oh, I need this, so I'm just going to start taking this supplement without like really digging into it, learning and be like, okay, do I really need fish oil? Do I really need it? And again, we're, we have, we're not against supplementation here. If you want to take a, a supplement, it's great to do a algae-based supplement. Again, we wrote about that in this, in this book. And you want to work with a qualified doctor to make that decision. But um, that's, that's really, that's the summary. That's it, guys.